Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the newest cinematic masterpiece to be brought to the public eye. Over the past three to four months, the PNG tuber genre of content has blown up on the internet, essentially introducing one of the cringiest video formats to ever come across the entertainment plane of the internet. And over these past couple of months, I've made videos talking about PNG tubers and their success and criticizing their content while cracking jokes. But with things sort of slowing down in terms of PNG tuber popularity, I I think it's time to take every PNG tuber that I could find on both the YouTube shorts and TikTok and round them all up into one video. Get ready ladies and gentlemen and watch this entire video because we are going to be looking at every single Jellybean clone that I could find on TikTok. And really quickly though, I want you to go and do something nice for your father right now because I think that'll reduce the likelihood that he'll leave you if he sees you watching a Jellybean clone, even if it's just a clone that I'm featuring in this video. So yeah, go do that and let's get into this video. I made an SMP! Let me explain. What is that? Oh my god! Don't tell me that's... That's not some guy's... No, no, no. You wouldn't cut off an innocent man's pride, would you? Recently, a lot of people have wanted PNG tubers to get together and make an SMP. Literally, no. No, just nobody has wanted that ever. In the entire existence of everything, all the time, nobody ever wanted that. You know what people do want? Invisibility, okay? Infinite money, okay? You think if somebody got one free wish, they'd wish for you to start an SMP with your PNG buddies? No, they wouldn't. And that's exactly what I did. I forced, uh, uh I, I mean, I brought my friends together and I made SMPNG. Just hear how excited Tox is! Please send help! Please! Somebody help us, please! Oh no, not this clown. No, I'm not helping you. Sorry, buddy. Not after everything you put me through. <laughs> Is, isn't Tux a funny one? <laughs> no, not really. Bro gets a Morbius rating on the funny scale. Anyway, I'll be streaming this SMP on my Twitch channel tonight. Oh my god, no way, no way, I'll be there. I will so be there, and I'll have my popcorn in my lap as I'm eating while watching your stream because I want to see the SMP so badly, dude. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Oh. My. God. Okay, this one is just straight up frightening. Like, how does somebody watch this and not feel, like, a little bit alarmed? It's like if I walk into class and the teacher's like, Okay, we're doing a pop quiz worth 50 points on your total grade. I'm sort of just like, oh, damn, okay, I didn't expect that. That's how I'm feeling right now. Like, damn, I didn't expect that. And that should say something at this point. We're talking about PNG tubers. People that are kind of notorious for setting the bar high when it comes to things that are weird. So, we are new PNG tubers here. <laughs> and we are really excited. Dude, I'm sorry, I can't concentrate. The one on the right looks like it's about to eat me. Like, I, I, I'm i literally just sitting here trying to think of, oh, what is a funny thing I can say about this cringy TikTok? Dude, this one on the right literally looks like it's gonna jump me and, like, beat my ass and steal my wallet, dude. We are really excited to be uploading. It's really, 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 really is my dream girl. So, my name is Virgine, and this is my good buddy, Dingle. Yeah, Dingle is my name. Yeah, so, my good buddy Dingle, and we're gonna be talking about our opinion on Minions Asked Fast. I love him! Wow, what a TikTok. Some of the most amazingly drawn PNG tubers, by the way. Make a video about how much they love Minions. Okay, I mean, that, that might be the best TikTok I've seen ever. I mean, these, je these Jellybean clone duos, maybe that's the new wave. I love your channel! I'm Kitty, also known as Meowba's older sister! Your Meowba's older sister? Well, you failed as a role model? Jesus. Bit of a self-report, don't you think? I mean, now everyone's gonna blame Meowba being cringe on you. Like, you were the person, obviously, besides your mom, because your father left, who was supposed to raise Meowba, and you failed! I'm also the original doll. I'm also a new PNG tuber. Exactly, that's the entire problem, is that you're a new PNG tuber. Like, cut that out, please. You should be a new daycare worker. Like, do something else. Please give me some questions so I can answer them in my next video. This video is so great that I'm not going to ever watch it again. It's so nice and so wonderful that I actually slowly drag my finger across the screen on the brightness bar so I don't have to see it. Welcome to the Philippines, have a look around. I'm here to tell you how our Filipino history's found. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what is this now? We're doing Filipino history geography lessons? Like, what is happening? That is so random. I mean, I suppose it's a lot more creative than the reading your meanest comments videos, but still, like, that really just came out of nowhere. On 1521 of March 16th, we were discovered by an explorer Portuguese. Welcome to the Philippines, take a look. See. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look and see myself out of this video that I'm watching. Don't want to watch it. 
Another jelly bean clone. Another jelly bean clone? What did Avicii say? So wake me up when it's all over? Like, goodness gracious. What even is the PNG tuber genre at this point? Like, we have a blue bear. How many jelly bean clones are there? I guess that's enough to make you guys mad. Man. Why did he say that sarcastically? Oh yeah, I'm sure there's enough to get you mad. Like, there literally is. Do you know how many jelly bean clones there are? Clearly enough for me to make like 10 plus videos on them. You say it sarcastically that there's too much jelly bean clones, but there literally are. They don't really care if you call me a jelly bean clone. It is just Minecraft videos. So, um, I, I am, a, I am a clone. Why do you say that as if like that's all you're able to be? Dude, you're a human being. You can be so much more than a jelly bean clone. You could be the next PewDiePie if you tried. You could be the next Obama, the next Trump. Why would you select Jelly Bean? Like, why be a clone of Jelly Bean? Be a clone of John Cena. Be a clone of somebody great. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the dumbest- Yeah, yeah, hold that thought. Just gotta take a moment to, uh, clear my mind of all distractions. Okay, I think I'm good. Also, hold on a second. This guy's about to call something dumb. I just hope he knows what he's talking behind. A furry PNG tuber. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the dumbest appeals I've seen. Server you were banned on, if you know. I just want to know how your day was. Do you know how you were banned? I just want to know how your day was. Do you know how you were banned? Because I said that way it was illegal stuff. Why should we remove your ban? Because it won't happen again. Why should we remove your ban? I just want to know how your day was. Why should we remove your ban? I just want to know how your day was. What a boring video. I literally had to speed that up 400% just to get myself out of that. Wow. A lot of people have asked us who we are. Dude, is this on me? Like, do I need to take some sort of medication? Am I seeing things? Like, at this point in time in 2022, this is not even a conceivable timeline. We have literally duo PNG tuber accounts. Either I need to take my normal pills because I'm seeing things, or these people are just so far gone that it makes me think that I'm insane. And I think it's about time we tell them. We're about both one and the same. same. Two, two halves of the same, same person. person. Two, two sides, sides of the, of the same, same coin. coin. Okay, dude, honestly, you know what? We may be very different from one another. But we share the same body! And we may not always get along. But we try our best to be understanding to each other. You should try your best to forget your TikTok login password so you don't ever upload. <laughs> oh joy, another jelly bean clone. A clone? Like from Star Wars? Yeah, I mean, this guy just straight up kisses his mom on the mouth. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I just think it's really that simple. That's not an accusation, dude. That's a guarantee. I can't be wrong about that. If I'm wrong about that, I'm not even going to be at fault, dude, because everybody's going to recognize that, yeah, I mean... You know, this PNG tuber definitely looks like they kissed their mom on the lips. Jelly bean clone. Jelly bean clone. Oh, wait, guys. This comment looks exactly like the last one. Jelly bean clone. <laughs> Did someone clone these comments? You guys are so quirky and silly. Anyways, you caught me. I am I'm a, a clone. clone. Oh, I just don't get it. Why do these PNG tubers think that being self-aware about the fact that their content is completely horrible makes it any better? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about the jelly bean, like, you know, when she's making fun of herself using the skeleton memes, like, that's different. It's the people that are like, okay, I am a jelly bean clone, and think that by, like, embracing the title that that's somehow, like, a sick own to all the haters. It's like, no, that's actually just embarrassing. Anybody who says that they're a jelly bean clone should not be, like, saying that with their chest, you know? Yeah, I'm a jelly bean clone. What about it? It's like, Dude, that's some shit you gotta keep secret. Hey guys, oh, we're no PNG tuber, and I'm gonna be reading my comment. I can just hear the saliva shooting out of this guy's mouth every time he says a word. Like, if you stand in front of this guy while he's speaking, you're actually gonna get the flu. Dude, text-to-speech is free at this point, man. Like, just listening to this, I feel like I have an ear infection now. So today I learned that if you type in the phrase PNG tuber in the TikTok search bar, you're gonna be met with some of the worst content that has ever been known to grace the internet. So what I've done is I've rounded up all of the worst PNG tuber videos that I could find using the word PNG tuber on TikTok, and we're gonna look at them today, so leave a like on this video, let's shoot for 10,000 likes, and let's look at these people. Reading my Minecraft hate comments. Jellybean, is this you? Faker. Guys, I am not Jelly Bean. Do I look like a bean? This guy sounds like his parents are in the other room and he's trying to keep his voice down while he's recording this. And that's kind of a W because most PNG tubers are actually parentless. But the downside is it makes it seem like he's trying to give you ASMR or something. Like he's like, uh, hey guys. He sounds kind of like nervous and scared to go up to you like a little shy guy. It kind of sounds like it's his first day of school or something or he's about to give a big presentation in front of class. Your answer to that should be no. More like Wordle the turtle? I'm not a turtle, I'm a sea monster. Nah, actually you're not a sea monster, you turn out to be a human male. Um, who's gonna tell him he follows me? 
Awkward. You are not a real PNG tuber. Please stop this madness. Yes, I do not make PNG tuber videos. Uh, yes, you do. That's what I'm currently watching is a PNG tuber video. Bro, if you want to make the awful content, make the awful content, but you can't just make it and then like act like you don't want to associate with it. Also, his avatar looks like he just Googled Beast Boy and downloaded the first five results. Out of 10, I give that guy a five. Reading my YouTube hate comments. Goodness gracious. Oh man. I really did not think it could get worse. I hate Jeffy so much that he makes me barf. Oh yeah? Well, this comment makes me barf because of how trash it is. Yeah. Yo, is Jeffy wearing a do-rag? Am I seeing stuff? Also, what a terrible comeback to that hate comment. Hate comment said, Jeffy, you're disgusting and you make me throw up. And Jeffy responds with, no, you make me throw up. Like, okay, Jeffy. You seriously couldn't have thought of a better comeback, bro? Is that do-rag too tight on your head or something? You having trouble thinking? Jeffy, you are as annoying as your doorbell. Well, F you, Zach Records. How about you record some more sh and stop commenting on my YouTube video? Ha, huh, he called you annoying and you responded by just cursing him out? At least he's not arguing with him. At least he knows knows he's annoying because boy oh boy is he annoying. Jeffy the PNG tuber. This gotta be my favorite creator. Jeffy, when you are sleeping, I'm gonna feed you green beans. I hate green beans, guys. No, please don't actually do this because one, I hate green beans and two, it would be really weird if you actually knew where I lived. So please don't do this. That one was pretty bad. I think I'm gonna give that one a three and a half out of ten. Not the worst I've seen, but yeah, pretty bad. My fan base is insane. So as you may know, why do you look like that? They like to do something called tuxifying cats. Basically, they take a cat and make it look like me. Just like this. Yeah, so this guy himself obviously watched way too much Steven Universe growing up. I mean, just look at his avatar. But I feel like this guy's fans, you know, the people that are quote unquote tuxifying stuff, making random stuff look like this guy right there. I feel like these people during their lunch period take their drawing tablet with them into the bathroom and just avoid everybody. But you guys have not only started tuxifying cats, but now every everything else. I thought you'd stop at dogs, but nothing is safe. You've tuxified dogs, celebrities, Pokemon, and even a can of Axe body spray. This guy gets a 4 out of 10. More annoying than the first guy, but less annoying than Jeffy. This guy definitely tries way too hard to stand out with these like little inside jokes, and I'm sure these jokes seem really cool and awesome in the community, but everybody else is just kind of staring at you and your content being like, okay, what am I watching? Your voice is so soothing and your content is super relaxing. Relaxing, huh? I don't know if I would say relaxing considering that since I started watching that video I've noticed my skin is kind of turning into one big scab but yeah great content I am the only PNG tuber on this app to use a picture of themselves and that's kind of funny wow he's got that professional audio quality you guys hearing how perfect his mic sounds it definitely doesn't sound like a blender with chalk in it I mean the whole point of being a PNG tuber is that you can interact with your audience in a meaningful way without having to show your face and I'm destroying that I mean, it's a cool idea, but your face looks really creepy in the selfie that you chose to use of yourself. I don't know, he kind of looks like he's staring something down. Looks like he spotted some apple pie. Overall, it's a cool idea. Interesting concept. I give you 7 out of 10. Is the very, why is the very, I'm so confused. What is this one trying to say? No bitches up, but how about this instead? Instead of getting the bitches, you become the bitches. That joke was so bad that I'm actually considering watching Annoying Orange. Using the MLG sunglasses from 2015. I want to be just like you. Yeah, the most I can give you here is a two and a half. New friends with the puppet master from Prodigy? Oh, more like the puppet master from Prodigy. Oh my goodness. Bro, what is that puppet master from Prodigy? Oh I don't know what he's talking about, but he's saying the same thing over and over and over again. And so now I have this hatred for the puppet master from Prodigy when I have no idea what that even is. And the only reason I hate it is because this guy spammed the voice line like a video game. Turn the pets of the island to my side. <laughs> Dude, is this guy PNG tubing on the side of the road? How is his budget so low for this video? He couldn't even chroma key his own PNG properly. Got a bunch of floating black pixels taking up the screen. Yeah, that's a pretty hard two out of ten. Honestly, maybe a one and a half out of ten. Uh, we'll stick with two for now. This is not a safe space. I believe everybody should be bullied a little bit in their lives. And if you walk in here thinking you can be weird as with no consequences, you're getting bullied next.
this How are you threatening to bully me? You are literally a PNG tuber. I don't know what made you think that you could have this sort of confidence, but you add video contributions to one of the worst genres of entertainment to ever pop up. Reviewing your comments. Let my family go. Yeah. Uh, what? Did you just not answer the first question? I give this one a 10 out of 10 because the less we see, the better, and this one offered very little to see, so yeah, 10. Right here, comments. <laughs> this one's obviously a parody, but it's so funny. Did you survive the car? Of course I didn't. <laughs> You're seeing things. You're seeing things. You're seeing- Am I shy? I mean, I am a little bit shy. <laughs> they don't know what I do. They don't know. Why did you eat my brother? No, I didn't. <laughs> you remind me of your brother? That's nice. Do I have fingers? Of course I have. <sighs> well, guys, I think we're gonna let my other friend read some of your guys' comments. So, yeah, hope you enjoy their time. Yeah, I think we're gonna look at some more Jelly Bean clones if this video gets 10,000 likes. So let's get this video to 10,000 likes and I'll make another video like this. You, off. you always sound so happy. How do you do it? I wear a mask with a smile. There is blood leaking out of my ears right now. So in the video that I uploaded yesterday, I set a like goal of 10,000 likes and we got more than half of that pretty quickly. So I figured that I'd make another video talking about these Jelly Bean clones that have been popping up recently. Let's try to get 10,000 likes again and let's take a look. This is insane. The amount of times I get caught the hedgehog on the side How does this guy have captions on his video and I still can hardly tell what he's saying? This is insane. The amount of times I get caught shadow the hedgehog on the side is actually unreal. You know, sometimes I joke about people that make very high energy content being on drugs, but this guy I think actually has to be on drugs. Bro sounds like he just took three Adderalls and ran a marathon. The amount of times I get caught shadow the hedgehog on the side is actually unreal. I just need you guys to explain why. Is it the color scheme? Is it because we look so edgy? Like, just look at us together, please. Dude, is this your avatar? Oh, come on. Get your nightcore looking ass out of here, man. Listen, I'm not gonna hate on the anime profile pictures because I have one myself. I think it's kind of cool. But the whole thing where the hair covers your eyes and you literally can't see in front of you, and there's just overly edgy factors like adding the devil horns and just, oh, I'm so edgy and satanic and I worship the devil and I listen to Ghost Man. It's like, okay, bro. It's like, like, we get it. You sit alone at lunch, bro. We get it. We know that everybody cuts you online while you're trying to get lunch. It's fine. That guy was really annoying. I give him a three and a half out of ten. I'm not Jelly Bean. Oh, no, not Jelly 2.0. 2. Oh, no, not this guy again. In my last video, we saw this guy and figured out that he watched way too much Steven Universe growing up. And now he's a Jelly Bean clone that posts on TikTok. No, does this make me an upgrade or a copy? I can't be Jelly Bean. I don't own a cult. Yet. You make Amy Schumer funny. I hate PNG tubers, but I like you. I appreciate it. But please, guys, no more PNG tuber hate. Make better content. It's been a huge problem lately, and all the PNG tubers I've met are super sweet. This person's a furry. Me and Red Velvety are cool, but he's still loud. This person looks like they use neo pronouns. And bottom right over here, I mean, hey, straight up neurodivergent. I don't remember what I gave you in my last video. I probably gave you like a three or a four. So honestly, I'm just going to stick with a four. Half these people that end up making PNG PNG tuber content have the capacity to make better videos and it's just like why don't you I mean I can only imagine it's because I don't know it takes less time to make these and less brain power I can only imagine it takes like two brain cells to make these but still you're making goofy ad content bro so I'm sure you've seen that there's a ton of streamers out there right now but I'm starting to notice a trend between them yeah me too these PNG tubers that start streaming I notice a trend with them too their content is bad. But I'm sure dude PNG tubing as a tree trunk, I'm sure bro's gonna come in with a cape on and save the day. Now you might come to me and say, Moss, you're just like the rest of them. No, I'll come to you and say, you're not like the rest of them, and I wish you were, to be honest. I don't know why you're PNG tubing as a tree trunk. And to that I say that the thing that I've noticed is all of them are human. Well, say goodbye to humans. How about a dreamer? Dreamer. Dreamer. Yo, buddy, you mispronounced tumor. Considering that trees outnumber humans 400 to 1, I'd say that we're an untapped market waiting to blossom like the wild sakura in the spring. But don't worry, I'm just not any old tree person. I'm hot. Woo, mama. 
You know, splinters ain't looking that bad right now. Dude, what is wrong with you? You can't post this on your main TikTok account. You are simping for yourself. Also, this dude didn't even PNG too properly. He put his PNG in the top of the screen. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have it at the bottom of the screen. He put a background on his PNG tuber. It's not even a PNG at that point. That's a JPEG, my dude. You're JPEG tubing. I just can't get over the fact that bro said, I'm hot. Like, what? I'm hot. Woo, mama. I'm hot. Woo, mama. Nobody should ever feel this comfortable on the internet to the point where they would feel comfortable posting this. Like, I'm all for people feeling comfortable and feeling confident, but no. Not, not to this extent, dude. Like, I'm glad that you have self-confidence, but this is not self-confidence. This is self, like, attraction. Like, if we put this dude in a room with only mirrors, I'm not even joking. He would try to get every single one of the mirrors pregnant, even though they're all just mirrors. Yeah, I give that guy a one and a half out of ten. When I was a kid, I didn't really know what the N-word meant. <laughs> What a great way to start a video. This jelly bean clone is gonna talk about the N-word. Okay, wow. Maybe we're gonna have some commentary from this guy about different race relations and politics. And needless to say, I didn't know how bad it actually was. Like in middle school, I actually didn't understand the origin or where it even came from. I mainly just heard it being used in songs and this kind of twisted my perspective on it. Because this guy is legit going into a actual story time about when and where he learned the N-word, man. Like we're going into this guy's history he's talking about. So when I was in sixth grade. I didn't know about the significance of the word. I more or less just want to see where this is going. I just, I think the way he set it up is kind of funny. Because I heard it a lot and I thought if this rapper could say it, why couldn't I? Anyways, we had this person that came into our school to show us how rapping would be super cool if more females were involved. Dude, you didn't have a rapper come to your school to give a TED talk. Stop lying, bro. This guy's lying through his teeth right now. Storytime jellybean clone? One out of ten, bro. Stop the cap. Giving you guys tips on your Minecraft skins because I get paid to make Minecraft skins. Yeah, let let me get that cow wearing a green Christmas sweater telling me what looks good and what looks bad on a Minecraft skin. So I think I'm slightly qualified to talk about this. Coolio789. I really like your skin. It's really cute. It's got a really nice color palette to it. The colors seem pretty cohesive. My only suggestion would be to maybe make that shell a little bit darker. The shell looks fine. Don't listen to her. Your skin looks like it's from the show Hey It's Franklin, which was the show when I was growing up. It was pretty cool. So you're good, man. Don't worry about it. This person seems like they are obsessed with art and will talk about it even when it has nothing to do with the conversation. So I'll give you a th now nah, I'll give you a four out of ten. I'm feeling generous. Hey, look, everyone. I sold my soul and now I'm a PNG tuber. Dude, this is the ugliest avatar I have ever seen. This looks like a 2012 derp face meme. Bro looks straight out of the It's Raining Tacos music video. Do you guys remember that? Oh my god, this guy hasn't aged a day since that video. It's time to make some subpar content. Yo, this is so funny, bro. I love you, dude. Okay, well, at least this guy is self-aware. I think he's actually kind of making a parody on PNG tubers, so I'll give you a 6 out of 10. Reading your awful questions. Instead of playing Roblox all day, why don't you go play with something? That's not very nice. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I can do this. Bro's PNG avatar is a dog with his brain out. Yeah, I want to take my own brain out after watching all of this content. Like, straight up, might hire a surgeon to lobotomize me and sell half my brain on the deep web. Like, I don't want it. I don't. Because it makes me think about this content. What's your opinion on FNAF fee picks? Oh boy, do I love toy chicas, sweet succulent toast. <laughs> I will- God, half these PNG tubers are just weirdos. Like, nobody says I want chicas, sweet succulent toes, and then turns out to be a normal person off camera. And even if they might seem like a cool level-headed person off camera, you have to remember the animal that they become when they start recording. And I'm not saying that as like a metaphor for like, oh, they lose all sanity. No, this guy literally becomes a dog. Like, his PNG is a dog. Do I love toy chicas, sweet succulent toes. I will eat your grandmother. Well, I hope you like the taste of ashes. Yeah, for this guy, I don't know if he's worse than the tree guy, you know, the tremor. 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 But either which way, this guy, ugh, I don't know, man. 1.5 out of 10 at most. Where the ladies at? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Like a G6. Like a G6. 
Yeah, so this guy's name is Red Velvety. He is literally everything annoying about Jelly Bean, but dialed up like 200%. And the excuses that you can make for Jelly Bean just do not apply for this guy, so I really don't feel bad at all for criticizing this guy. Where the ladies at? Let me explain. So YouTube, yes, the website you're watching this on right now, has a wonderful analytics tab where you can learn everything about the people watching your content. Even he doesn't even know what kind of videos he's making because above him is the sly emoji looking all slick, but then his own character is having a panic attack. What is going on? What sort of emotions are you even trying to convey with this video? It just seems like you're dumping assets into the timeline of Premiere Pro and praying that enough is happening that people won't scroll. Which, yes, to me, means you. So I went digging, and I found out there was a gender imbalance among my subscribers. Why are 12% more males subscribed to me than females? Why aren't more females subscribed? Well, I got the answer for you, and you're not gonna want to hear it, my friend. It's because ADHD is far more common among young boys than girls. And as a haver of ADHD, even I can't bring myself to watch your stuff. It's looking like a sausage party out here. Dude, your fans are like 10 years old. Let's not call it a sausage party. Call me a drunk 21-year-old guy at a frat party because I gotta ask. Bro, I'm gonna call your jokes Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 because they are not landing. Comedy does not seem to be your strong suit. Reading your most bizarre comments. Not gonna lie, you actually sound like a male relative of Jelly Bean. Do you guys really think I sound like Jelly Bean? Because personally, I don't hear it at all. Well, there comes a point when you scream into your mic so loudly that your voice becomes indistinguishable from the other people that are screaming very loudly into their mic. Are you the fox from Zootopia? What? <laughs> no, I don't even look like Nick Wilde. I mean, if anything, I guess I look more like Judy. I think the bunny is kind of hot. What do you mean? I'm literally an animal. Not gonna lie, I kind of feel bad that everyone's saying he's a furry edition of Jelly Bean, but you are. Hey man, if you wanna fight, we can fight! I actually refuse to believe that anybody produced even the slightest chuckle from that video. Like, my mouth right now is literally a horizontal line. Especially toward the end of the video when you just decided to commit audio vandalism on me. Hey man, if you wanna fight, we can fight! I don't even understand that, too. Somebody called him a furry because his avatar is a furry, and then he gets mad? Like, even if he's getting mad as a joke, I still don't understand that because aren't you actually a furry? Reading your comments, but if I get called a furry, the video and you are so much of a furry that you wake up in the morning and are genuinely upset that you weren't born as a fox. It's not a mistake, it's a masterpiece. Wow, what a terrible start. It makes me want to cry. Dude, your voice is just so expressive. I want to see your face when you actually talk. Your voice is expressive? Really? Really, dude? That's just called yelling. Hey, is my voice expressive? <laughs> Well, it seems like you're in luck. When we hit 750k subscribers on YouTube, I'm gonna do a full face reveal. Yeah, spoiler alert, his face reveal sucked. It's literally him with cat ears on Twitch. Dye your hair red. What should I dye my hair next? Add hair in the cake? I wish. If I add in my hair, but I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not famous. I need to get to the point where I can go and then sell it for $50. Yo, big guy, I think you've been dyeing your hair a little bit too much. It appears that some of the dye has seeped into your brain. The cake is burning. No, it's not. I used the uh, instructions on the back. Red? Dye my hair red. Uh... That's something. So get ready for that. I can only imagine what Red Velvet would do if he hits 1 million subs. Well, he's not gonna start making good content if that's what you were wondering. Oh, trust me. I have something prepared that you will not believe. Okay, odds are I'll probably believe what you have planned. What I honestly wouldn't believe would be you shifting your content from PNG tumor content to, I don't know, actual gaming videos or videos with even a quarter of a toe of substance. Because right now you are literally competing with watching paint dry as to which activity has more substance. I'm putting my bet. In. He's gonna end up on the Dream SMP eventually. I don't know why. I just have the feeling. I don't know if Dream needs another animal to be on the SMP, but that's very sweet of you. It's nice to see people actually be nice for a change. Most furry PNG ever. Get it, guys? Because he was loud at the end of the video. It's hilarious. This man has zero friends, and I can tell that you get zero bitches. Hey, yo, bro, this you? No father figure be like. <laughs> you know what? You're totally right, Julius Roblox with the Sans profile picture. Oh, nah, bro. There's no way you're talking. Look at your channel art. Like, I'm sorry. I know I just criticized this guy for being loud, but what? How are you going to shit talk somebody with a Sans profile picture? Like, everybody on the internet has played Undertale. Also, even if you were going to roast him, you cannot be the person to do it. These types of shorts irritate me, and when I'm irritated, I feel the need to steal organs. So you better keep a good hold of your spleen tonight, or it might just be gone tomorrow. 
That's so sweet. You want a piece of me with you everywhere you go? I mean, at least take me on a date first. I genuinely want to know what this guy's warm-up exercise is before recording a video. Like, what do you think he does? Like, I have to imagine it's a 50 mg caffeine pill, a cold shower, and a smack in the face. These shorts are so entertaining and always make my day better. These types of comments are terrible and always make my day worse. Hey, yo! Guys, stop with the AO comments. They literally clutter my comment section. Yo, Red Velvety, try to say a sentence normally without changing your voice inflection at all challenge. Like, let's try this. Hey, guys, stop spamming AO. It's cluttering my comment section. Nah, Red Velvety is gonna be like, no, AO, it's, it's, it's stopping in my comment section. If this is like something that he literally can't help doing, like, fine. Like, I, I won't, you know, hold you for that. But it seems like he's just intentionally being spazzy on camera to, I guess, I don't know, impress a bunch of six-year-olds. What is your relationship like with your father? Probably much better than yours. Oh yeah, by the way, subscribe. Okay, that response just doesn't even make any sense to me. This kid asks, hey dude, what's your relationship like with your father? And you say, oh yeah, it's probably better than yours. That's not even a hate comment, bro just asked a simple question. Like, I know the assumption is when people say, oh my god, what's your relationship like with your father? They're probably gonna say something like, oh yeah, your father list, but he didn't even say that, bro. You just went and shitted on this random ass guy in your comment section. And let's keep it a stack, though. Like, let's just be honest. Your relationship with your father, probably not better than this guy in your comment section. Dude, I am so rooting for Headshot Robbie 1939 here. We have a massive problem. No, you have a massive problem. You don't know how to keep an indoor voice. So over the past month or so, people were calling me a jelly bean clone all the time. And I'm very glad to say that it doesn't upset me anymore. But recently, people have started calling me something different. Something far, far worse. Now people are starting to call me a furry. Yeah, I definitely don't see why that could be. I need a way to end this fast. So I had a genius idea. What if everyone who watched this video right now liked the video? <laughs> Okay, dude. Also, Red Velvety, if you're watching this, you're literally breaking YouTube terms of service, but I don't blame you entirely. I used to do this too. This dude is keyword flooding in his description, which I used to do as well, but yeah, it's against the rules, so you might want to stop. I'm not trying to, like, narc on this guy or anything. Like, genuinely, I didn't know it was against the rules when I was doing it, so he probably doesn't. But yeah, dude, you're getting, like, 36 million views a month. I don't really think you need to be, you know, keyword spamming in your description in order to try to get new views. Answering your burning PNG tuber questions. From my Discord. What if Jellybean started PNG? YouTube. Oh, we got a funny guy in the Red Velvety Discord server. Get it, guys? Because Jellybean is a PNG tuber. So the question, what if she started PNG tubing, is silly because she already is. Wow, dude. Jellybean? PNG tubing? I would have never guessed. Oh, get it? Because he would have guessed because Jellybean is a PNG tuber. Dude, please. Please, for the love of... I'm not gonna say God because I'm sure this guy is an atheist. Uh, for the love of... I don't know, dude. Furries? Animals? What is your furry God? For the love of the film Zootopia, please stop trying to be sarcastic. What do you use to edit? I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I mean, I can't even say anything about that. I use Sony Vegas Pro 16 and it crashes every 15 minutes, so... How do you survive with all the hate? I don't know. It's Minecraft videos. For me, I try to not take it too seriously. Okay, well, I mean, again, that's another pretty good response. You know, kudos to both this guy and Jellybean. I've seen Jellybean on Twitter playing along with the whole skeletons meme, which is really mature and I think a great way to deal with, like, all of the clowning that's been happening on the internet. You know, if you just play along with it, people will sort of realize that, oh, you know, it really isn't that deep. Because at the end of the day, this whole internet shit is only as serious as you let it be. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're one of those, like, 600-pound whale lords that will dock somebody on the internet just because you don't like their content, you don't belong on the internet and you suck and nobody likes you. But other than that, if you're just posting skeleton memes and, you know, a content creator reacts to it, being like, oh, that's funny, like, who cares, you know? Are all PNG tubers a part of one hive mind? I see this all the time. No, we do not all know each other. By the way, subscribe. By the way, subscribe. Corpse husband, everybody. Okay. Also, what you said about PNG tubers not being from the same family is just cap. These people have to have something in common with their genetics that would lead them to the route of PNG tubing. Listen, there's a reason why you're making these type of videos and I'm not, and I don't know how much of it is individual choice. Also, I just noticed dude's YouTube banner, Red Velvety, subscribe or I'll eat you. He'll eat me, dude. I got lazy, so here we go. We're about to do uh, comments, baby. No, but like, isn't that what he always does? Always reading something? And if that's what he always does, and he's saying now him doing the same thing is lazy, isn't all of his content lazy? 
damn. You didn't hear it from me, though. That's not meant to be me taking a shot at him or anything. I make lazy content, too. I'm just, I don't know. I just found that funny. As a PNG tuber hater, I actually enjoy your content. Wait, what? How does that even make sense? As a person that pretty much hates everything you upload and the entire genre that you and others pioneered, you're actually okay. Not, wait, like, that just doesn't make sense, dude. Not much, but kinda. I'll take kinda. I will take kinda. Thank you. Red Velvety is a hamper. What is that? <laughs> no, that's a rabbit. I'm getting a new PNG tuber soon, actually. So, yeah, watch out for that. Yo! Are you guys hyped for the Red Velvety rebrand? Oh, I hope he'll be a fox. Guys, like and comment if you're ready for Red Velvety to be a fox, dude. What does the fox say? I don't know. Ask future Red Velvety. Watch out for that. Easter buddy looking ass. You know what? It's actually gonna be Easter soon, right? Yeah, sure. I'm the Easter, but why not? I would not celebrate Easter if this dude popped out of my backyard and started giving me chocolate eggs. Can you imagine waking up on Easter Sunday smelling the crisp notes of a spring day? And then you just walk outside and you see this guy hopping around. I feel like I'd let my dog outside as well and then just like have my dog chase him around. My dog eventually outruns him and then like eats him alive, okay? Now you might be thinking, oh my god, a cheeto, that's so violent and inhumane. Why would you do that? Well, dude, he said subscribe or I'll eat you. Why can't my dog eat him, especially if he's on my property, unwanted? Are you dream? You know what, Jillian? Whoa, what was that for? Why did you say her name like that, Jillian? I don't know, Jillian. Like, Red Velvety, who do you not like whose name is Jillian that would make you say her name like that? Was Jillian the name of the Petco owner who banned you from ever returning? Like, uh, well, what's going on here, dude? Uh, yes, I am, Dream. Don't spit in my coffee or I'll get you fired. Do you understand me? Yo, Red Velvety, what is going on? Did Dr Dream never said that. He never said if you spit in my coffee, I'll get you fired. Yeah, I mean, it's probably fair to assume that if somebody spit in Dream's coffee, he would fire them, but why are you saying that? You fired. Do you understand me? Too annoying, but respect the grind. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, subscribe. Subscribe to me, okay? Subscribe to the Achido channel. Let's get to 500k. I don't want some guy to just be like, oh, oh, subscribe to me. And then you just go subscribe blindly. No, subscribe here because you know here you're getting the best quality. Nobody's doing it like we do it here at the Achido channel. Nah, guys, I'm just saying that because I'm jealous, man. I'm jealous. I want to be like Red Velvety, man. Why can't I be like him? Sorry about that, guys. Just got a little bit emotional there because I was afraid if I didn't say that, he would eat me. Nintendo recently announced that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will be released in late 2022, and I'm super stoked about it. Same, same. Please don't eat me. Alongside the announcement, they revealed three new starters, and I'm going to rank them. First up, we have the grass Pokemon, Sprigatito. Okay, first of all, adorable. Not quite as cute as me, but pretty close. <sighs> Uh, not sure how I'm feeling about that one, my guy. I've been trying my hardest to not get eaten, but I think I'm gonna have to put myself on the line here to say that I think the grass Pokemon might beat you by a little bit. Not quite as cute as me, but you know. I don't know why bro kept that in there, to be honest. I feel like the video would have been good, if not better, to be honest, had I not heard that, like, one second audio bite. 8 out of 10. Next up, the fire type, Fuecoco. Oh my gosh, look how stupid he looks. I love him so much. 9 out of 10. He's beautiful. And finally, we have the water type, Quaxley. I don't know if I'm biased because I like Fuecoco so much, but I don't know how I feel about this one. Maybe it's the hair or something that's putting me off? I don't know. It's so weird watching this guy rate the designs of these new Pokemon when it's like, my brother, you are literally a bunny on YouTube. I mean, how would you like it if a bunch of Pokemon CEOs huddled up at a table and was like, Red Velvety's avatar? Uh, 3 out of 10. It's dog shit. Like, probably you wouldn't like it so much. I don't know. It's a 5 out of 10. Be sure to subscribe and comment who your favorite starter is. My favorite starter, Red Velvety, is whoever you want it to be, man. I just, I just want to make you happy. I'm kind of just answering these questions the same way I would answer if a serial killer asked me what their favorite starter is. It's just whatever starter they want it to be, you know? If serial killer's favorite starter is Squirtle, dude, I'm Squirtle Nation all the way. Minecraft YouTubers are hiding this huge secret from you. Well, it's not a secret. We all know they love children. Like, bros acting like I would be surprised if every Minecraft YouTuber came out and said, hey, dude, yeah, we love kids. Like, no, we wouldn't be surprised. I'm sorry. The records show that that's sort of a common thing throughout this community. So if you watch YouTube shorts, you might be familiar with PNG tubers. Yeah, I know a thing or two about those guys. I, yeah. I mean, look at Jellybean's sub count. You've probably seen them before. Yeah, probably. Probably seen them. Yeah, I have. I've seen PNG tubers, okay? 
Let's just, let's calm down. But recently, a bunch of people have been saying that I'm a scientific carbon clone of Jelly Bean, but red, and they're wrong. I mean, yeah, they're technically wrong, but not by much, dude. That's like saying a rectangle is a square. Yeah, you're wrong, but really not by that much. If I was taking a test and one of the questions asked me, is red velvety Jelly Bean? I would circle no, because I know that that's the correct answer. But I also feel like everybody who circled yes really shouldn't lose points. I'm not a clone. I'm actually a robot. Yes, me, Red Velvety, is a robot made by NASA to find data on YouTube to gain subscribers and in the future rule the world. Oh my god. Okay, that is kind of epic. Nah, dude, Red Velvety was made in a lab by a Chinese data mining company to get more information on American YouTube users. That's kind of genius. Make sure to subscribe or else we will initiate phase two. Okay, now that, that is a good pitch to subscribe. Subscribe or I'll eat you. Yeah, I'm subscribing because I don't want to get eaten, but subscribe or else we'll initiate phase two. You bet you I'm pressing subscribe. Oh my god, guys, we have a code red. My parents have found my YouTube channel and I don't know what to do about it. Wait, this guy has parents? Rare PNG tuber W. Like everything I say and post, my parents can see and watch. My mom sent me this text message right here. Lamau, Jake, what the hell? Yeah, it looks like your mom's kind of freaked out by your content, but can you really even blame her? Look at your PNG avatar. It looks like Pig the Pig from back at the barnyard if he was a Japanese femboy. Like, I don't know what's going on, but these PNG tubers are allergic to making normal looking avatars. And that should say a lot coming from me. Okay, so I got a bunch of DMs on Twitter telling me to react to this guy named Chobu. So this is another Jelly Bean clone, and all of his videos give off a certain vibe, and I don't really know what adjective I'd use to describe the vibe, but it's not a good one. The entire video sort of feels like filler. If you've ever watched a very plot-driven TV series, you know that there are episodes of that series that are just sort of throwaway episodes, like filler episodes, where they don't really contribute to the plot. That's sort of the best way I can describe a Chobu YouTube short. Anyways, let's shoot for 10,000 likes on this video, and let's watch some Chobu YouTube shorts. Minecraft, but I'm related to Jelly Bean? Jelly Bean's dad confirmed. I don't have any kids, chat. No, Jelly Bean is not my daughter. What are you talking about? Jelly Bean's pet axolotl? I am not somebody's pet. What are you talking about, guys? No, I am not Jelly Bean's pet axolotl. Are you Jelly Bean's grandpa then? I'm not even old enough to be a grandpa. I don't even have kids. How am I supposed to be a grandpa without having kids? I'm only 19 years old. That's not that old. Nah, you're Jelly Bean's son. Oh my God, chat. Jelly Bean is not my mom. No. This video has 117,000 likes. This dude answered the questions. Are you Jelly Bean's dad? No. Are you Jelly Bean's son? No. Are you Jelly Bean's grandpa? No. Are you Jelly Bean's pet axolotl no and got 120,000 likes. I wish people that were actually interesting knew how to upload and record YouTube videos because we wouldn't be stuck with people like Chobu answering yes or no questions for YouTube shorts. I mean to be fair people like Jideon are doing pretty well right now and I think that's a good sign but the fact that Chobu could commission a pink blob for like 20 something dollars and use Minecraft parkour gameplay while talking yes or no questions and round up a 300,000 subscriber platform it's just a little bit ridiculous. Ridiculous. Reading very annoying YouTube comments. Bro, everyone is doing this now. What? Making YouTube videos? I'm sorry that my YouTube videos are on your recommended, okay? I didn't mean for it. Apology not accepted. I'd rather watch morgues. Obama? I freaking love Obama, man. I freaking love Obama. God, stop trying to be so wholesome. I want you to pour acid in an anthill or something. I want more than anything for somebody like Chobu to just break character and lose it on a YouTube shorts. Like, just go mask off. Instead of a video like, today I'm reading my wackiest YouTube YouTube comments. I don't know, make an unfiltered political video where you're like, why you should vote for Joe Biden now? I don't know. I just feel like I'd have something else to watch that actually had meaning and wasn't just reading my comments. Something about this overly touchy-feely, colorful, sensitive, like preschool type aesthetic makes me angry and I don't know why. Like every time I watch these videos, I just get the urge to like, <laughs> like break something and it's not anyone's fault. Well, it's probably Chobu's fault, but you know. Maybe it's a me thing, but does anybody else just, like, want to sign up for, like, Taekwondo classes after watching a Chobu short? Like, I don't know what it is. It gives me violent tendencies. Jellybean, are you cheating on Red Velvety with Chobu? No, I'm not gonna lie. 
I, this YouTube comment right here deserves jail time. You are going to jail. Put this comment in jail, Eve. You copied me? You're right. I'm sorry for copying you. I didn't mean to post a video just like do this for these Pokemon or Nezuko part two. The YouTube shorts initiative was entirely a mistake. I don't know why we thought this would be a good idea. I don't know why any of the heads of YouTube thought this would be a good idea. Well, obviously for profit, but at the same time, the face of YouTube shorts right now is Jelly Bean, and YouTube shorts is kind of known as the PNG tuber hub. So I can't really imagine any anybody who's post zygote enjoying the content on YouTube shorts. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the YouTube heads know something that I don't. Maybe there's a bunch of grown men who are loving Chobu's YouTube shorts and love the Jellybean reading comments. Why does everyone think that just because someone uses the same kind of thing Jellybean has, they are automatically related or dating? I don't know, but I can in fact confirm I am not Jellybean's brother, I am not dating Jellybean, and I'm not Jellybean's cousin, so shut it. Yeah, well, you're practically indistinguishable from the literal thousands of PNG2 doing the same thing as you. So the fact that you would even dare feel surprised that you got compared to somebody who created the genre that you now create content for is astounding. I would never act surprised if I was called a leafy clone because I have some sort of awareness as to the content that I create. Either this guy is either clueless slash in denial of the fact that he makes content that's identical to Jelly Bean, or he actually thinks that he's doing something different and revolutionary for YouTube shorts. Hmm, I think I found a trash YouTube channel. I'm sorry, Karina. I'm sorry I don't post banger YouTube videos like my baby DJ testing fart sounds, okay? My bad. Make sure you subscribe right now to join the Axolotl army. Bye. Hey, you watching this video right now. I know why you're here. You're either gay or you like to commit chaos. Bro, what? Your fans don't even- Dude, your fans are in like the first grade. Why are you saying that they're gay? Well, do I have a new word for you to use? It's called gayos. Yeah, you're kind of a bit biter. You know the person that did the combining words best? Eminem. Yeah, you thought gay and chaos was good? Check this out. Bitch, I can make orange rhyme with banana. Bornana. Yeah, Bornana. Bet you couldn't think of that one, Chobu. Hmm, I think I found a trash YouTube channel. Ayo, hey, irony check? If you like the word gayos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe on this YouTube short for more YouTube content in the future. Thank you. I don't know if he's acting five years old as a joke or if he actually has the mental capacity of like a five-year-old. Or maybe he doesn't and he's just acting like he's five-year-old to pander to his audience. You know, his audience of five-year-olds. Because half the stuff he's saying in his videos is stuff that I would have said, like, I don't know, a decade ago. Like, man, at recess, I used to pretend that I had superpowers and I'd probably say something like, Yo, I have fire kinesis. I can f shoot fire out of my hands and have telekinesis. And this guy is actually posting content with that same premise. But yeah, man, keep telling your zygote audience that they're gay. That's, that's really going to help them out in life. One time I dunked my brother's head underwater and my brother tried to drown me because of it, and he keeps trying to kill me. And you are smiling because? Dude, he actually looks thrilled in his avatar while reading a comment about, like, I don't know, like, domestic unrest where these two siblings are at each other's necks? Little bit tone deaf, that's okay, though. I feel like your family reunions are like battle royales, and I want to be a part of it. It's not a mistake, it's a masterpiece. I wish this is how my parents saw me, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, your parents are disappointed in you? Oh man, well, maybe if you tell them about that word you created, that'll change that. Go up to them, you know, give them a call. Mom, if you mix gay and chaos, you get chaos. I'm sure that'll definitely change that circumstance. Gregory, do you see the small vent on the floor? Have you ever heard of Among Us, Gregory? You need the vent. I know it'll be hard for you to be sus. March 2022, Among Us sus jokes. Please, Cartoon Network, bring back good shows for kids to watch so they don't have to resort to Chobu and Jelly Bean and Red Velvety. But I know you could do it, Gregory. Trust me, I hated saying that more than you guys listening to that. I'm sorry. Bro apologized in the audio recording, but still uploaded the post. You know exactly what you did. You are not sorry. That's like Logan Paul saying, I've made a severe and continuous lapse of my judgment by going into that suicide forest, but then actually going back to the suicide forest and recording a second vlog there. So I don't know if I accept your apology to keep it a stack and a half with you, because I don't even know if you mean your apology. Are you being sincere? I, I don't think so. I actually quite doubt that you're being sincere. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if you broke your apology and made another Among Us joke. Minecraft, but I do a voice reveal? It's not even funny how hard I would smoke this guy in the quiet game. Alright, what's going on guys? So I'm currently a bit sick, so I'm sorry if I sound off or if my voice sounds a little funky. It's because I am sick, but we're here to, you know, tough it out and make some content for y'all. Chobu.
Love this guy. Chobu is a PNG YouTuber who behaves like a toddler and got over 300,000 subscribers from it, which kind of blows my mind. I might have to hit up Scooby-Doo to see if he can solve this mystery. But in the meantime, we're going to take a look at some more of Chobu's content and leave a like on this video or else you'll be locked alone in a room with Chobu for an hour. The choice is yours, honestly. Minecraft, but I do a voice reveal? Is this dude's hair going underneath his eye? How much you want to bet Chobu knows how ugly his avatar is, but he's just too petrified to tell the artist because he doesn't want to offend her. A lot of people have been wondering, what do I really sound like? Everybody has a YouTuber voice. What is my real voice like? I promise you that nobody cares. Also, voice reveal. This is where the content's at. Bro, let's get a family reveal. Not actually better than that. Let's get a DMs reveal. Let's see how many minors you've been hitting up. Actually, we don't even have to do that. I know you couldn't even hit a home run in the little leagues if you catch my drift. Well, I thought it would be fun to actually show you guys what my real voice is. Why would you think that would be fun? Tell me how you using your normal voice to communicate with YouTube is is gonna be fun for me. Chobu, I find comedy to be funny, okay? Where is the comedy in you using your default voice to communicate? I'm kind of nervous because I don't know if people are gonna actually like how I sound. This dude is quite literally a reverse Giga Chad. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Guys, I'm using my real voice. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? But here goes nothing. My real voice sounds like... What the heck? Chobu, it's me from the future. Wait, what am I doing here? I'm telling you, I'm not gonna let you voice reveal at all. Why can't I voice reveal? It's my voice. It's our voice. And I'm not gonna let you do it. Oh yeah, who's gonna stop me? I didn't wanna have to do this. Wait, me, please don't shoot. It's too late. Chobu on his main YouTube account now advocating for gun violence. Chobu, that's a really sensitive topic, you know. I'm triggered right now. You gotta put TW gun before you do that stuff, okay? I thought you'd know this. Chobu's parents watching him descent into madness after he claimed that YouTube was just a fun little hobby. Not Nah, but literally put James Charles next to Chobu, and all of a sudden, James Charles seems like a big macho man. You know what I'm saying? Chobu has that effect on people. It's insane. Minecraft, but I fight Dream SMP members. If this actually does happen, this will be one of the few times that I will be cheering for Dream. Tommy in it is an easy one. I think we just take his discs away, and he's done for, to be honest. Technoblade, that's even easier than Tommy in. Wow, just because he had cancer, you think it's an easy fight? That's a little messed up. I would say I expected better from you, but I didn't. Honestly, Honestly, though, Chobu, your content is so cancered that it may as well be a fair fight. On second thought, I don't think I could beat Technoblade in a fight, to be honest. This dude would lose a fight to Ricky Berwick, okay? And if you don't know who Ricky Berwick is, just Google him. Ricky Berwick could easily TKO somebody like Chobu without even batting an eye. Dream. See, I might not be able to beat Dream in a fight, but if I run for long enough and call 911, I'm pretty sure they'll send them to prison. Well, let's keep it a stack and a half. 911 ain't gonna bother to pick up your call. But if they do answer your phone call, which would be unexpected, once they hear that signature switch, Sweet Chobu voice, they're gonna hang up. Or hang themselves, to be honest. Like, shit, you never know when somebody's last straw is gonna ever take place. Like, you know, them getting a phone call from a Minecraft PNG tuber could be it. Bad Boy Halo might be the easiest one of them all. If I just swear at him, he'll probably just give up and concede the fight, to be honest. Make sure to follow my Twitch channel. Bro, does that actually work? Like, do people actually do that? Oh, okay, so he whispered to follow his Twitch channel, so I am now going to make my way over to his Twitch channel and click the follow button. I refuse to believe that Chobu who has actual viewers. Like, where do these people come from? Like, mothers? Nah, I doubt it. I feel like Chobu fans are hatched in a laboratory overseas. Minecraft? But I look like Jelly Bean? Look in the mirror, okay? Look in the mirror. Look yourself in the mirror. Is the man that stares back at you happy at where you are? Be honest. Okay, maybe that's a little too aggressive, but you know, come on. Like, I sound like Jelly Bean? A Jelly Bean? Jelly Bean? Da Vinky? Da Vinky? You look like Jelly Bean because you have the same eye, horn, and hair texture, and you're both purple. Dude, I figured it out. Chobu comes from Majin Buu from Dragon Ball. If a Dragon Ball artist saw what you did to their precious creation, I'm, I'm sure they'd sue you. I'm gonna be honest, it is literally just a coincidence we look the same. I met Jelly Bean like a year ago, and we both had characters that look kind of like each other. It was almost scary how similar we looked. It's almost scary how fatherless you look. You look like a sports team mascot for an orphanage. C-H-O-B-U-U, -U, adopt an orphan located near you. Wait a second, why do you have Jelly Bean's horns? I don't have Jelly Bean's horns. These are mine. They don't look anything alike at all. Does Jelly Bean have a second channel? Yeah, I'm actually Jelly Bean's second channel because we look so similar. And we are the exact same person. You didn't copy Jelly Bean? Oh, thank you. Oh, gee, thanks. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
you. Finally, a nice comment. You're jealous of Jelly Bean. Oh, never mind. Oh, dude, what the flipping heck? Why are you so mean to Chobu all of a sudden? That's not very wholesome. Dude, if you keep acting like this, I'm gonna ban you from r slash anime enjoyers. Anyways, I've been getting a lot of DMs from you guys asking me to collab with Dumpy. And because I'm sick and I still want to put videos out for you guys, I think it's time for Dumpy to hop on the channel. So go subscribe to him if you haven't already. 350k subscribers, women in his apartment at all times of day and night. And supposedly, this dude is going to bring balance and peace to the galaxy. Let's see how he does it. Minecraft? But I'm a furry? I'm a furry? So the new Pokemon game just came out, and they released three new starters, and Weed Cat being my favorite- Weed Cat. I don't know if that was an actual Pokemon name or not, or if this guy's making a groundbreaking joke. If so, it didn't land, buddy. But again, I don't know shit about Pokemon, so for all I know, it actually could be a specimen named Weed Cat, and I'm just an asshole. Sorry. Starter, I change it to my profile picture. Now I know how it looks. It may look like I'm a furry, but I'm not. By the way, I need to talk about this title for this YouTube short. Minecraft, but I'm a furry. Is anyone surprised? I feel like all the Minecraft PNG tubers are furries, dude. It's a normalized thing. Kids are growing up being raised by animals. It's like Lion King. But the animals are Minecraft YouTubers who want to prey on them. Huh, a DM from Frost? I knew it, you are a furry? What? I am not a furry! Stop calling me a furry! And that is an example of what you can find on the Chobu channel. Clearly, game changing content. Uh, Dumpy, you sound a little bit mad right now. Why are you mad, dude? Uh, are you mad right now? It sounds like you're a little bit mad. Why are you mad? Are you upset? You know what, dude? Yes, I am upset. I'm upset because how are they winning, dude? I wish I was winning. I'm mad. I'm mad as fuck. But there you have it. That YouTube short, Minecraft, but I'm a furry. 21,000 likes. How many likes does this video have that you're watching right now? I guarantee you it is not even close to that number. If we could somehow pass 21,000 likes on this YouTube video, I'll shave my balls. Not even the hair, I'll just shave the skin off. Yeah, I'm actually Jelly Bean's second channel. <laughs> I love your jokes, Chobu. The gay guy at the bar, part one. Because, you know, Baba's got such a crazy life to share with the internet. I'm sure this story time is going to be really entertaining and totally real and not made up. So I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Nor do I have a problem with any people in the LGBTQ community or how many genders there are nowadays. I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, what? What does that have to do with homosexuality? How many genders there are versus being like James Charles or something? I don't think the two of them are very related, but okay. I guess we'll see where this is going. I trust you, Baba. Don't let me down. But I respect each and every single one of you guys. But when you guys get to the point where it's a creepy vibe, it just doesn't sit well with me. Bro, I know this guy did not just talk about creepy vibe. Look at your avatar. Look at your little character. Your branding, bro. You look like you unironically call girls on Discord calls your kitten. And I don't know, like, I feel like you wouldn't be above asking to see my feet or something. Like, you know what I'm saying, dude? You're creepy. I remember, like, I want to say, like, almost two or three months ago, I went to a bar with me and my friends, and we were just hanging out, doing our own thing. Okay, okay, hanging out with the boys at the bar, doing your own thing. Gotcha. Drinking alcohol is hashtag epic. This guy is such a baller and a savage. Oh, man, I wish I had cool stories like him. And in a way, like, I remember as we were sitting down getting totally drunk and going off, I remember there was this, like, really creepy old guy. Not old, but just, just some weirdo. Nah, this guy doesn't look that creepy. He looks completely normal. Baba, what the hell kind of message are you sending to your audience by judging this lovely old man that you never even spoke to? Come on, Baba. I know you know better than that. Okay, sitting in the back of the bar, staring me down like crazy now at first i was like really off put about him i was like you know what like maybe he's just mad at me or maybe he's gonna beat me up like who knows who knows you know i'm just gonna drink more so i don't feel the beating after dude if you were that sure that this random ass elder was gonna swing at you in the bar probably should have called the police i don't think i've ever heard somebody say oh this guy looks like he's gonna beat me up well may as well just drink more beer so when he does beat me up i don't feel anything but then let's just say he wasn't going for that kind of beating he was going for another beating or in a way his own beating fall for part to. Oh, so he wanted to have intimate relations with you because he's gay. Gotcha. What a great story, Baba. Next on the list of totally believable, not made up stories by Baba, uh, we're gonna watch He Punched the Racist Teacher. Oh, I think all of us have dealt with bad teachers throughout school. Dude, this is what he does. He starts all of his videos off trying to sound as relatable and normal as possible to get people like thinking that he's telling the truth. In this video, for example, he starts it off by saying, well, I think everybody had bad teachers at some point, and since everybody on 
on planet Earth has had at least one bad teacher. They're all like, you know, saliva leaking out of their mouth, mindlessly nodding their heads at Baba like, yeah, I have had bad teachers. Like, I remember me specifically. I had this one teacher back in high school that was super racist. Whoa. That's not good. And I'm not even joking when I say racist. Uh, what? Nobody thought you were joking when you said he was racist? I'm, I'm so confused. You said, I had this really racist teacher in high school. Nah, I wasn't joking when I said racist. Like, like he would literally, like, yell down the hallway, like, Go back to class, you Nazis! And- Oh, uh, come on, bro. Stop the cap. Come on, you're just talking out of your ass at this point. Legit, no teacher has said that out loud in the hallway and maintained their job. It was just really, really bad. But I remember one time, we had this new student come to our class, and he was, like, from a Middle Eastern country. And me being nice, I kind of befriended the guy because he was, well, a pretty cool dude. And I remember one time in class, we both entered our social study class, watching a documentary that we were supposed to watch and it was basically about this middle eastern kids country about how you know they're considered like terrorists and stuff and i remember this kid didn't like the pressure that was happening so he tried to leave but then what ended up happening next was just not it fall for part two Something about the fact that this guy uses family-friendly Minecraft parkour with shaders as his gameplay while he's talking about racism and physical assault. It's like, do you really want the nine-year-olds to be hearing about this, Baba? Come on, think of the kids. Think of the children, Baba. Middle school, I never really had my balls drop. And why did you have to share this with me? Like, don't get me wrong, I know Baba's entire YouTube channel is him posting about these epic stories that he gets involved in, but sometimes he'll just randomly say something so out of pocket. Like, I just don't get how somebody feels like they should post that on the internet. Like, what if your mom pulls up that video? You think she's gonna be happy? Like, her son is going on the internet talking over Minecraft gameplay about his own testes. So let's just say getting a girlfriend wasn't really an option. The most God gave me when it came to puberty was a pubic stash that ended up being woman repellent. Anyways, I remember there was this one girl in our class I had a serious crush on. Like, she was the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. The way this guy talks in his videos, it just seems like he's so immature. Like, the stories that he's telling are stories that I would expect to hear from somebody who literally just found out what sex was. Like, they just had the talk. Like, if this guy told his stories to anybody his age, everybody would just be like, okay, bro, cool story. I was so obsessed with her, I remember that I had my locker beside her. We sat beside each other in class. Hell, I remember even writing about her in my diary a journal it's actually a journal one day in class i remember my teacher was saying how there was going to be a spring dance coming up in my head i was thinking about how badly i want to ask this girl out if you want to hear the rest of this like for part two like i don't and you know that i don't but you're just farming views off these little children i just know for a fact this was the guy who would just cap about random things for no reason just to seem cool you know what i'm saying though like he shows up late to school one of his friends asks him hey baba why are you so late to school baba's like oh man i'm so hungover and his friend's like no, you're not. And he's like, oh shit, you're right. Like this guy just, I feel like he's kind of like an instinctual liar. Like I, I just see through these stories. Maybe just because I'm older and I, I can recognize it. But like, dude, stop. I want to ask my crush to the school dance. But to be honest, I had no idea how to. So I remember searching up how to ask a girl out on the internet. Let's just say it didn't help. And also a quick side note, I had a seriously bad stutter when I was growing up. The next day, I promised myself to ask her out on recess to the school dance. I had my favorite green Minecraft shirt on and was ready to ask her. But as I walked up to her, a Another guy that was a lacrosse player already started talking to her. Obviously, I started to tear up and put my head down and walk away. But then her friend walked up to me and said something that I was really shocked about. Her friend came up to me and said, you know, she wants you to ask her out, right? I looked at her in shock saying, why in the world would she want me to ask her out of all people? Then after that, she said, she told me she read your diary and... She really likes how much you care about her. Dude, this story, I I, th I swear I've like heard this before. Like, where is he getting this from? I know this is not his story. I think I actually heard this story before. I genuinely have a hunch that this guy is finding other people's story times and then just changing the character names to himself and treating it like it's his own story. Listen, I'm not trying to accuse this guy of stealing because truthfully, I don't know if he is. But if you are stealing content, why steal content to make videos for one of the weirdest slash worst genres of internet content there currently is? I'm not saying it's right, but I can at least understand when somebody steals content if they're doing it to make like Mr. Beast type videos because those are all the rage but for something like this I just don't get it. Nah but with that all being said I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Comment down shotgun if you made it to the end of the video and I'll try to heart your comment. Big thanks to all of my channel members as always you guys rock. Follow my social medias and join the discord server links are all down below and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.